Reginald Murray Williams was a man who became a brand. More than just a rags to riches story, RM's life connects the two Australias. The city and the bush. RM grew up in Australia's rugged outback. His father was a pioneer settler who worked hard training horses and forging the horseshoes and tools for the machines and metal parts for the wagons. It was a rich and complex world where the skills of bushcraft were handed down through generations and tough, strong men drank tea and wrote poetry. In the depths of the Great Depression, RM founded a business out of sheer necessity. It was beyond his wildest dreams that his bush products would become coveted by the likes of kings and presidents. RM could identify with both the romantic Banjo Patterson view of loving the bush for what it was and the Henry Lawson view of loving it for what it could become. RM succeeded because people of the bush recognised him as one of their own. He was able to connect with their needs because they'd been his needs. Twice in his life he would choose the bush over the city once as a teenager who didn't like school and just wanted to see the world. And again at the height of his success, where he walked away from his life of prosperity to return to the land where he belonged. The man who became a brand chose to be a man again and created a legend. R.M. Williams, from the outback to the world. Narrated by Jack Thompson. <laughs>